as soon as possible. Wait, I'll finish me tab. Hey, never any rest round here. And I'm not even that wicked anymore. I know you can't be fixed. Spec trying to get back for work. Well, I'm still on leave at the minute. Um, but I'll nip round the garage later and see how he's getting on. That Aaron's well fit, isn't he? Gay. Bet you've seen well worse than a cut finger, haven't you? Well, not really. I haven't done my ER rotation yet. Yeah. Where did you do your training in America? Huddersfield. How was Jersey? What? Debbie okay, is she? Yeah, she's fine, thank you, Jess. Must have been a bit of a shock coming back to all this business with Jackson. Aaron must be beside himself. Give him my love, won't you? Yeah, I'll be sure to do that, Linda. Oh, Jackson was such a lovely young man. Everything to live for. Steady job, boyfriend, and his mother back from her travels. Not that, yeah. Hello. Any news on Jackson? Still the same. I don't get hourly updates from the hospital. Polite conversation costs nothing. Sorry, Edna. Oh, you're looking a bit fierce today. New out, is it? Fierce. Shouldn't mind her up like that. So how's Aaron? Adam's been trying to get hold of him. At work, working, at least it's your bit. Thanks. I'll tell Adam that. I'm Amy. You work at the garage, you know, with Aaron. No. I won it. Oh. Congratulations. I broke down to Aaron's fixing my car. Oh, that old bag is yours, is it? How long is it going to take? <sighs> well, what's the damage going to be then? And don't suck all the air out of the room again. It's people trying to breathe in here, you know. It'll set you back about 300 shades. I told him to fix it, not rebuild it. The alternator's knackered. It's got two bald tyres and it needs a new battery. And that's just to get it on the road. Where'd you get it from anyway? The tooth fairy? Well, I'm going to want to take it for a test drive first, then. You know, just round the block. Yeah, I have been round that block. No cash, no car. Yeah. There you go. Are you sure you don't want me to help out? You heard what Brenda said. I mean, we can manage this place without you for a bit. You just deal with what you've got to deal with. I just didn't think she'd leave you holding the baby, that's all. She's only got the cash and carry. I think I can manage a few breakfasts. Used to be a pro, didn't I? What time are you going over the house, man? You don't think you can persuade him to come in tonight, here? Yeah? Can't do anything to ask, can I? You all right? Just wondered if you might be going over the hospital later. Well, I don't know if I can get a time off work. We're snowed under, so... Yeah, well. Look, I'm not making excuses for Jerry. He's got issues. I was as had, but I wish you'd just take that into account. I shouldn't have to. Yeah, I know you shouldn't. Look, I've told him how important it is that you be there. I'd be really grateful if you did come in today, okay? Yeah, I suppose so. Right, well in that case, why don't you go and do a couple of hours work and then I'll drive you in later. They came then. Thanks for bringing him. You're all right. Um, how about if I take Hazel off to the canteen? Give her a bit of a break. You can chat to him on your own for a bit. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. No, I could stay here. Do his voice if you like. How can you joke? How can I not? Anything that makes it better, I'm all for. I was hoping you would be too. Yeah. Let's go and get this cup of tea. All right, mate. 
How are you doing? It's got to be the stupidest question in history, hasn't it? Anyway. I'm here now. I keep remembering stuff. Like the holiday. And how good it was. Feels like ages ago now, doesn't it? You and me. On the beach. That waiter who thought he was God's gift. <laughs> All of that. Feels like years. Weird this, isn't it? Here's you listening to what I'm saying. Me doing all the talking. Not how it usually works, is it? But the thing is, is... Just because... I don't say stuff. Talk, you know. Doesn't mean that I don't care. What I really want to say is... I'm sorry. I mean, I know it... It sounds rubbish when I say it. But I mean it. I'm so sorry. Anyway... Come on. Can't lie there all day, can you? Time you woke up now, eh? Hi. On your own? Aaron's with Jackson. Paddy's gone to see a man about a dog. Literally. Right. Hadn't planned on staying long, you know. I don't really want to intrude. Oh, don't be daft. I'm glad you're here. So... How's it all been? OK. Conversation's a bit one way, obviously. I'm running out of things to say. Which is unusual for me, the sound of my own voice. Well, I know the jokes are a defence thing. Don't feel you have to. Not for me, anyway. I'm fine. I know what it's like, you see. And I've been here and it's... It's the waiting, isn't it, more than anything? This happened to you? Yeah, my, uh, my eldest, Dawn. Yeah, there was, well, there was this... accident. Was she all right? Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. Oh, it doesn't mean that I think... I mean, Jack, I'm sure Jackson will be fine. Of course he will. Well, he better be. We don't have me to deal with. I haven't spent years sitting through speech days and watching football in the freezing cold and taking on David Roberts' mum when he was bullied, being bullied. I just haven't taken... Come on, come on. Let it all out if you need to. Come on. I'm all right, honestly. I'm all right. Are you glad you came? Yeah, I am actually now. Yeah, I feel a bit better about it all. I was a bit worried about coming this morning. Yeah, it's never easy. Nurse! Nurse! Who is it? Hey, What's right, let's have a little look at him, shall we? What's going on? What's the matter? Okay, check it out, Pump. Tell us what's going on. No pulse. Easy and nice to sleep. Oh, my God, what's yeah, happening? Okay. Would you mind waiting in the family room? Tighten compressions. What's happening? My Aaron. Emmerdale continues in half an hour.